and welcome back to my channel. I'm Georgia McGilly from Georgia Beth Photography and today I am going to be just showing you a very quick tip of how to make your own styling boards. So if you're a beginner photographer, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notifications bell and also pop in the comments below if there's anything specific that you'd really like me to cover in these videos coming up over the next few weeks. But let's just dive straight into it. So styling boards for photography purposes can be used for so many different things, but basically they are just like a mini backdrop. So what I do is I use A1 foam boards like these. So these are just a piece of A1 foam board. They're pretty sturdy um, and they last for a decent amount of time. Obviously they, if you want a white background, then they're perfect for that because they're not too shiny. Um, yeah it's a great just flat white background but also you can stick different things to the surface so i have a few different ones which i'm going to show you now um but you can also use like a canvas so you can buy those big a1 canvases that you can kind of pull a bit of material around and staple at the back and that's also an another option for something that's a bit like this this sort of size pretty portable and sturdy so i have this um little styling board that I use for quite a lot of the things because I love this kind of marble effect and this is literally just using the sticky back plastic that you can buy in rolls. I think I got this roll for about $4.99 and there's loads left over so I can still use them um, for any kind of decorating or different bits and pieces you can use it for. But yeah, I've literally just got a roll and you can also do that obviously with lots of different patterns. So if you wanted to have kind of a wood um, panelling effect or something like that, you can buy these kind of rolls of sticky back plastic and just pop them over the top and that's just really helpful so it's kind of two in one I use this one um, with my marble background and then I also have a nice plain white background on the other side and then the last option which I'm going to actually make one for you now and just pop it to show you but um, this is just any old piece of material and some spray adhesive so all you'll need is an A1 piece of foam board some spray adhesive and then a piece of material that is that size so I just bought a one meter of this kind of linen natural look background and I'm just going to spray the adhesive, stick the fabric down and just smooth it out so that there's no bumps or bubbles. But obviously you could do this with any sort of material. I'm also looking to go and get some grey and some black to do the same thing as well. Just so I've got those sort of options. I tend to keep my styling boards very neutral, which means that they can kind of go with a variety of different things. If I'm taking it to a wedding um, and they've got a different colour scheme to the previous wedding then I know that they're still it's still going to work as a nice plain kind of backdrop that isn't just the floorboards or just that kind of their bed sheet or something like that. So there you go that was just a really really quick video on how to make your own styling boards nice and cheaply and let me know in the comments below if that you've got any other ideas for making your own styling boards and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell and let me know what you thought about this video thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'm always cheering you on